Hi, I'm Eric Pratt of Gun Owners of America. On July 24, 2014, a doctor used his concealed handgun to disable a homicidal gunman in Darby, Pennsylvania. Police have credited the doctor with stopping a mass shooting and say that if he had not been armed, many innocent people would have died. As for the offender, not only did he ignore the hospital no weapons policy, he had both a mental and criminal record that disqualified him from possessing firearms under federal law. And therein lies the problem. Gun control consistently fails to keep bad guys from getting firearms. Gun control advocates claim that we just need tougher laws. But with thousands of pages of failed gun laws already on the books, it's insane to think that enacting more restrictions will work any better. In 2003, the Centers for Disease Control examined dozens of gun and ammunition bans, waiting periods, background checks, and more. But after analyzing all these restrictions, the CDC concluded that the evidence was insufficient to determine the effectiveness of any of these gun control laws. Last year, the CDC under President Obama once again examined the gun issue and reported there are anywhere between 500,000 to 3 million yearly cases of self-defense with a firearm. This means that people like that doctor in Pennsylvania are using guns 16 to 100 times more often to save life than to take life. So every time you see a tragic shooting reported in the news, just remember that there are far more positive uses of firearms taking place. They just usually go unreported, but not on GOA's website. You can go to gunowners.org and read about many cases of American citizens using guns lawfully in self-defense, like the recent Oklahoma case where an off-duty deputy with a personal firearm stopped an Islamic militant from continuing his rampage at a food distribution center. The assailant had already stabbed two women, beheading one of them, but the armed defender fired three rounds into the perpetrator, thus stopping him in his tracks and preventing him from harming anyone else. Just check out our self-defense corner on the GOA website for these and other examples. And when you're on our site, be sure to sign up for GOA's low volume email alerts. It's absolutely free to do so. Finally, I hope you will sign up and join Gun Owners of America, the organization that congressmen have called the only no compromise gun lobby in Washington. GOA is on the front lines fighting for your Second Amendment rights.